hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog channel. I have self-tanner on and there is an instant confidence boost that self-tanner gives you. Um, lots to catch all up on. It's been a chaotic week. My son is waking up slowly. I'll give him a minute. I'll kind of chat as quick as I can because y'all know I can be wordy. Um, we had a gas leak in our home and thankfully it was the stove. We were able to figure it out pretty quickly, but it was very scary up until that point because we knew we were smelling gas, but every time we looked at all of the things that like, we don't have a ton of gas stuff in our home. Like we really only have fireplace, gas stove. I know it does our water heater and I, that actually might be it. But we were just like, we knew it was our stove. We could smell it, but every test that we could kind of do, like even actually, this is really scary and I don't, I don't recommend it, but um, I had the fire blanket out. I had the fire extinguisher. I was ready to go. Doesn't mean it wouldn't be terrifying, but basically what we did was we took a lighter and we were like holding it around our stove and it was never getting higher than just the little teeny tiny flame. And actually that's what our electrician no, not the electrician, the HVAC guys. That's exactly the same method that they use, but they are professionals. But we eventually, after getting the HVAC guys out here, we were like, we smell gas, something's going on. And they did like a million tests. Basically they determined that our stovetop is what is leaking gas. And that is so frustrating because we have only been in this home for eight, you know, eight and a half months, I think at this point, or right over eight. And it's just leaking gas. We don't know if it's damaged. We don't know if it's a recall. We don't know if it's, this, that, whatever. So we have to get a GE person out here because it might be a recall and we just don't know. Um, it might be, there. Could, there's a million things it could be. So we wanted to get someone out here who is like GE specific and it just sucked. But it also was very terrifying because personally, I have a burn fear. I don't know about you guys. And then also having like had our house you know, have a house fire and our fridge catch fire at our old home prior to kids. Like it made that fear even worse. And then when you have children, your fear is that you're not going to be able to protect your children. So for the last week I have been a basket case. And even though the valve is literally off, like there is no gas going into the stove. There's no more gas smell. The fact that it's broken and was leaking gas just has me so stressed. But that's why they add smell to gas so that you can smell it. But it's just like, what if we wouldn't have smelled it? What if it would have been worse? And so that's been really scary this past week. Um, and I've been trying to like still get work done. And I mean, I have been able to, but I just like, oh my gosh, it's, it is, it is stressful uh, when you have a something like that go on. So um, yeah, I wanted to catch up on that. Second thing that happened this past week that was a very big thing, it actually happened a couple weeks ago, but we're still kind of adjusting to it, is Ezra, one night we put him down for sleep and precious little boy, we said goodnight, love you. He said love you, night, night. And then we turned around, went into Roman's room, put Roman down in his crib. We were like, goodnight bud, love you so much. And we turned around and Ezra was just standing there. <laughs> what, what just happened? He first attempt and First success, completely got out of his crib. Just threw that leg right over and got out. So actually he is in a toddler bed now. He does like to still sleep in a sleep sack. He had gotten to where he just wanted a blanket, but he likes the sleep sack again. I don't know why, I think it's cause Roman wears it. A lot of what he does is cause of Roman. Like he had started kind of being less interested in passies and then all of a sudden Roman got really obsessed with passies. So now he's obsessed with them again. Um, he has not drank from the bottle in forever. And he did go through a slight regression with that, with like he wanted to drink from bottle again after Roman was born and he's done it again. Like he, now that Roman can hold his own bottle, like he wants to drink from a bottle too. And we're like, that's absolutely not happening. So he's just kind of doing these things that Roman wants to do. So he's got a sleep sack and a blanket in his toddler bed. And Roman doesn't sleep with a blanket, but um, he likes both. So it just, has been a week of interesting things. <laughs> um, but I am sitting here getting ready for the Amazon spring sale. I'm not quite sure when this is going to go up in correlation to the sale. It starts on the 20th, March 20th, which is my 29th birthday. And it will go from the 20th to the 25th. I am doing five YouTube videos over the course of those five days. So it is going to be a lot. I'm doing 25 products every day that are like the best products that are on sale that day. And 
every single one of them is new. Like there will be no repeat products. So it's gonna be a lot, you guys. Another thing that happened this weekend, I'll have to take out and show you all of the cool parts of it. We, in a few years, are hoping to get a pool. So that's why there's like no mulch around it. It just looks so weird and like naked in our yard <laughs> with no mulch or anything, but we got our boy a little swing set um, and a slide. I'll kind of go through all that in a little while, but we wanted to get him this for his second birthday. There've been some issues at the park with just like, hold on, let me turn all around for the, oh, oh, that's not a good angle with some kids being a little too rough and parents just like not at all watching their kids or caring if their kids are shoving other kids down. It's just been a little too aggressive. And that's not the, like there's really only two parks around here and that's not the only park we've had issues with. So decided to get him one here for his second birthday. Um, anyways, just back to the, off my spiel about that for a minute. We got this from Sam's Club and we're gonna have to replace the swings for infant swings, but he just loves it. And so that happened this weekend. Um, took my dad and Sam two full days pretty much to put that bad boy together, so. Yeah, if you guys do buy it, just be aware. It's gonna take a hot minute. E-miney. <gasps> Hi, baby. Well, get that thing dropped. What's up? You gotta take, oh, your hair looks so crazy. Bless you, look at your crazy hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll take it off you. Hold on one second. Here. Oh, we gotta pack your, um, we need to pack your uh, outfit for Gigi's. Come here, can we put some pants on you, kiddo? It's very, very cold, so you need, you need some pants. Here, how about this? This is a cute, no, wait, you need some warmer. No way. No way. No way. No way. <gasps> oh. You wanna show them? You want to show them your pajamas? Your bluey pajamas? Say, I'm going to be two in just a couple weeks. Okay. And I like bluey, so we're having a bluey birthday party. I'm so excited. Arms up. Arms up. Got to take this off. Why is this shirt stained, Mr. Mouse? Hmm? Kiddo, you are toasty warm. How, how do you sleep with your little body like this? You are like your daddy. That man radiates heat. Here you go. Hold on one second. Let me put this up. Like even this shirt that I'm holding onto is warm. That is crazy, Ezra. Crazy. Will you grab some socks for mommy? So Ro is with my mom right now. It is a Monday when I'm filming this. So of course they are, they're, they go with my mom on these days so that I can film and get ready for the, Whole big Amazon sale. Okay, that works. I mean, they don't they don't really match, but I don't think you'll see them. All right, little man. Do you want to put the shoes? Okay, you want to put the shoes on now? All right, give me, oh, I only have one shoe. Okay. Oh. You cuddling cocky? It's Gamecock country, kiddo. All right. Now, I don't know if Gigi's gonna want you to wear these shoes or not. Yeah. But she can take them off if she does. You want to put it back? Thank you for putting it back. That was a good job. Okay. Sock. Blue sock. Good job. You missed a letter. Oh, miss. You missed it. Do you know which letter you missed? <laughs> e Z R A. Ezra. Ezra. Good job. Okay. You look good, kid. You look good. Here, will you hold your jacket for mommy? Whoa. Yeah, hold your jacket and we're going to go get Rose clothes. Hold on, give me one second, baby. All right. Okay, so Bubba. All right, so this. Roman is already in like 12 months stuff it's insane look at this how cute it's a 12 month sweatshirt so i don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to wear it so i want him to wear it now because it's so cute yes. yeah do you want your jacket jacket let's get bubba we gotta get bubba some socks 
Bubba socks. Bubba socks. Mm-hmm. So let's do those. Gotta go put all this in a bag. And we'll be good to go. I think we're just gonna walk to Gigi's, okay? Does that go with you? You wanna walk to Gigi's house? Do you wanna wear your jacket or do you want mommy to put it in the bag? I got that. Do you wanna put it on? Okay. You do. All right. Armin, hey, Armin. Whoa, you look so handsome. Uh-oh, your hands. Okay. You look great with your little green pants on. Yep, let's go to Gigi's house. Be careful. Goodness, I am so stylish with my socks and sandals. All right, E. Oh. Zeus, it's okay. And we're at Gigi's. Yeah. Obsessed with it. Oh my goodness. Hi, <laughs> you happy little baby. Oh, look at you swinging like a big boy. Good job, E. I was telling the vlog fam I was gonna show them. So it's got a little like, you can peek out, enter in here, full slide. It also has a rock climbing wall, but this right here is open, so we bungee cord that off. And then it's got these stairs that are also like meant to kind of be a climb, like these are handles. So it's pretty, it's pretty legit. It's got a little wheel up there, little numbers, letters. It's so, Cool. Oh. Bars here to hang from. I mean, I just could not love this more. Right, E? Look at Rob. Hi, E. Hi. one to ten do I look <clears throat> so hello I'm gonna be finishing out the vlog here not entirely sure what I vlog been a hectic week with the Amazon spring sale I feel so dumb but I know like why I thought the way I thought so spring sale started March 20th it ends March 25th five days that's six it's six days I only made five videos, but I've done a ton of coverage on it, so I'm I'm good. But um, look at how cute these little cups are. They have little bees on them. They're not from Amazon. I have some that have like strawberries and also hearts. They're adorable. Don't hate on me for what I'm about to drink. <gasps> I don't even have one that's cold. What? Oh my god. Okay, so it's not that bad. I was gonna drink a Diet Coke, but um, not if they're not cold. So I'll do a poppy cherry. It's one of the good ones. So I'll show y'all what we have going on outside. Um, I showed y'all clips earlier from us at the, we just went to Lowe's um, and we got a ton of stuff. I really struggle with plants because, look at my, I have self tanner on my body but not my face. Um, I really struggle with plants because when you're planting things, like when you plant trees, you're planting for like the rest of your life. So you think, oh, I'm gonna plant a tree. Like it needs to be really close to the other plants so that it looks good. And it's like, if you do that, it's gonna look crazy. So let me show y'all. And then I also have to go get the monitor. Both boys are asleep. See my little cup, how cute it is? I also had to redo my self tanner on my feet because I walked through the grass and I forgot it was wet. So we're kind of struggling today, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so these are my knockout roses that we planted. This is probably one of the only things I think we planted when we moved into the home. Everything else went to sod. All of this was red mud. Shh, it's fine. So we used our budget for that. This is about the only thing we planted, and this is after just one summer. So it's really, really pretty the way they look. They're really full and green. They were very thin and frail last year, um, but they are gonna bloom and they'll just be beautiful. So those are knockout roses that we had. This is something, let me see if I can 
get in here and show you. This is what we're gonna be planting here. So full sun, this area gets full sun all day and it gets like eight by eight, I think. So we're gonna put that right here by the garage. So love that, it's gonna be really pretty and bright yellow, but again, it's one of those, it'll kind of be green most of the time. It's getting cold. So then I did get hydrangeas. I'm gonna be honest, I really hope they stay this color. It wouldn't shock me if they changed because y'all know the whole soil situation with <laughs> hydrangeas. So we got three of these to put here because this actually gets partial sun. This bad boy right here, it's gonna get like 10 by 20, I think it gets 10 feet wide, 20 feet tall. So we're playing the long game with her, right? Like, but that's all that's gonna be here. <laughs> We did get some of these, I think they're called stocks. Yeah, stocks, these are annual. So uh, full sun, only gonna be about maybe a year at most. Got those for either side. And then we decided to get more knockout roses because they're so beautiful. They handle full sun very well. And we just get so much sun at the front of our house. So we got, I think this one's moving. Um, but we got more knockout roses because they're just so dang pretty. So that's what we got today. And then I'll also show you. Got these bad boys. So humongous ferns for the front porch. Um, I'll show you where we're gonna put them in those big black boxes, but they just look so full and big in the bottom parts. Um, the lady was saying they'll, they'll kind of fluff back up when they're properly cared for. See the black boxes on either side of the door? That's where the ferns are gonna go. And then I gotta get new. I got these from Target. I thought they were not real. <laughs> I guess they are because they died. They were like pretty and purple and they were like lavender and now they're just odd. So yeah, these gotta go. Um, and then we'll put the big ferns there. So loving how it's all gonna sort of come together. I mean, of course this stuff takes time, but I love it. So I realized I did not finish out this vlog, but thank you all so much for watching. Um, today is the last day of the Amazon spring sale. Six days, I feel dumb, but um, I did five days of coverage. So head over to my main channel if you did not see any of those. So many good things. I share like 25 new products every single day that are like the top deals and no, there were no repeats. So it's a lot of stuff. But thank y'all so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Make sure you click the subscribe button for more vlogs and we'll see you next time.